Man, it's been a while since I've done this. <laughs> and, uh, oh, just look at that sun. <laughs> uh, is it just me or my eyes burning? Oh my god. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, hey, ladies and gents. Sorry, I was finally going out to touch some grass, but I was brutally blinded by the sun. And I know what you're saying, Hannibal. Why don't you just wear some sunglasses? They made these things so you wouldn't be blinded by the harsh light of the sun. And while I agree with you on that point, there's just something I don't like about sunglasses. And that's the fact that whenever I don't need them anymore, I have to manually take my hands and lift them up. Oh, ugh. It's disgusting. We live in a time full of automation. The fact that I've used my hands these days is absolutely atrocious. And that got me thinking of a project I made about over a year ago. The date was April of 2021. And, uh, and what a month it was. Wait, why are you here? You're not supposed to wait. Hey, hey, no, no. He can get a little annoying sometimes, can he? But like that fuck was saying, on the month of April of 2021, this genius right here, jump scare warning, about, oh shit, fuck, never gets easier, had a genius idea that would change the way that we are protected by the sun. A pair of sunglasses that whenever you go into a place that's just a little too bright for your eyes, it'll take a pair of shades that are already down and lift them up. And I hear confusion, I bet you're saying something like, well, a pair of shades that are already down and go up, shouldn't it be the other way around? And you're right, which is why I deleted it off my channel. Now, this fuck here thought it would be fun and quirky to make something that was doing the opposite of what it's supposed to. In reality, though, it was so fucking dumb. And believe me, I could rant for hours on how much I hate this project. But before I do, I'm gonna let this fuck continue what he was saying, so, uh... Fuck off! Bitch. Well, I'm guessing he told you about the old project and how shit it was. Fucking asshole. But that's besides the point. I think it's now time I right my wrongs and make a pair of sunglasses that whenever you go into an area that's just a little too bright, it will lower them right over your eyes so you will be protected by the harsh lights of the environment. And with all that being said, I think it's now time we get in the build. And um, I'm going to need uh, this. Okay, we're going to need to take all of this off. So uh, while I do that, I'm going to tell you why we need this. Oh, shit. Now this boy right here, his name is fucking Hector. He's been in some of my past videos where we've needed a, some, a model of a head to put something on or throw stuff at. He's basically just like the assistant of the channel. But you normally just see him in the background when the video starts. We're also going to need this little piece of crap. Now if you look closely, this is actually the same band I used for the original project. So now all we need to do is put it on Hector, you know, nice and fit. Then we grab my magical wand and alakazam, alakadu, magic's not real, you fucking fool. So we'll be back in a few days. days. What the fuck? That is right, ladies and gents. I streamed myself making the project once again. And yes, I got a new microphone. Don't get used to it. For the build, I had to take a pair of sunglasses and modify them so they could be put on a pair of servos, which I may or may not have put on the wrong way. I hot glued this thing on the wrong side. Huh. Servos are basically like motors that'll make the glasses move up and down. I took said servos and put them on each side of the crappy headband, which actually took me a lot of attempts to get them placed on right. Technical difficulties. But after about an hour of gluing and re-gluing, I finally got it correct. Wait, that's not actually, that's actually not too bad. After that, I attached an Arduino and a breadboard on the back of the headband. An Arduino basically is a, the brains of these projects. Without it, they won't even work. And after that, I put on a light sensor on the glasses. A light sensor basically detects light levels, which is needed for this project. Then I threw in a shit ton of spaghetti and bada bing, bada boom, we were done with the stream. But even though the stream was ended, there was still some work I had to do on it. Like putting a battery and a switch on it so I wouldn't be tethered to my computer every time I use it. Then all I had to do was finish up this code which makes the whole thing work. The way the code works is whenever the light sensor detects light over a certain threshold, it will tell the Arduino to tell the servos to go down. Very simple code, very simple project. In order to test this, we are gonna have to go outside, so I'm gonna have to sadly leave the nice audio and go back to the shitty laugh mic audio. Hey guys, uh, welcome outside. Look, you got the bird, you got the sun. Oh look, there's my project not working. Yay! Yeah, so the project didn't work. Every time I tried to use it, one of two things happened. Either one, they just didn't go down and two they would have a seizure when they tried and as funny as a pair of epileptic sunglasses is that's not what we're making today so in order to fix this i 
first tried to put the light sensor on the band behind the glasses. The problem with this though is that whenever the glasses would go up, it would hit the sensor and could possibly break it. So then I thought, hmm, maybe I could put it on the back, maybe it would still get the same readings. But when I did that, the whole thing just wouldn't work. I'm not joking, this stumped me for a week. I didn't know how to fix this until I went into the code and realized that this number was just a little too low. Now what is this number? This number basically is the delay of whenever it does an action. The action is it detecting how bright it is outside. A hundred in this sense equals to one tenth of a second. So in under a second, the sunglasses get a range of numbers, not all the same, and would literally freak out and have a seizure. And the easiest way to fix this is to turn this number into this number. I also tweaked the sensitivity a little just to be safe. But it's now time we do our final test and get this fucking video over. So let's get to it. What the f hey guys, welcome back. We are now at the great outdoors and hopefully on a day where nothing will go bad and this whole recording will be amazing. I'm sitting down right now and set the camera like that. Hi. We're gonna put on the glasses like so. Uh, let's give me a minute. I know, very fashionable. For reference, we're gonna stand somewhere shady like right here. So let's turn these bad boys on. And as you can see, since it's nice and shady, these will be up, you know, cause who needs sunglasses when you're in an area that don't require sunglasses. But now, the moment of truth. When we walk out into the sunny area right over here, look at the sun. These shades should go nice and nicely over my fucking eyes. Thank God. And then I turn away and now they're not in my eyes. So again, we're in a shady area. Don't need the shades down. But then when we walk out into this road, oh no, the sun's out. Oh, but my shades come down to save me. These fuckers are so crooked right now. And we walk back in the shade, you know, maybe we don't want to get those vitamins that we also need from the sun. Oh, but man, I really want to walk out to the front of my yard today. Oh, bam, it's the sun. I'm gonna turn away before people see me recording by passerby cars. If this didn't work, I was just gonna be done with the video and you would never see this. But I'm so fucking glad it works. It fucking works. Oh, look at that sun over there. That's crazy. Oh, and they're back down over my eyes. These are a little crooked, but you get the point. And again, before we go inside, shady area, sunglasses is up. Not shady area, sunglasses are nice and down. <laughs> okay, let's go inside. Welcome to the end of the video. God, I hate this project. <laughs> Let me tell you, there's just so much that went wrong off screen that it was just so fucking annoying, like, ah. But in the end, I did get these fucking pair of sunglasses to work the way I wanted them to. And for that, I am really happy. I'm even happier though to move on and make something else. <laughs> I do think there's a better way to make this, like having the lens go up instead of the entire sunglasses. And maybe also like a button to calibrate the brightness. But I don't know, I might remake this in the future, we'll see. But if you want to make this project, but better, I challenge you to. I want you to improve my approved trash and see if you can just make something better than these sunglasses, something that can help protect you from the sun just like these do. Or at least kind of do in this case. <laughs> And if you do make something, post it on my subreddit. I really like to see these things. But again, even though this project had a lot of problems that I just really aggravated me, I am happy that it's finally finished and I can finally and confidently say that I made a pair of sunglasses that whenever you go into an area that's just a little too bright, a pair of sunglasses will go nice and comfortably over your eyes, hands-free. With all that being said, I hope all of you have a great day and as always, stay chashy.